Hey, how's it going? I was watching a video from Prince of Queens entitled Message to Anti-Feminists, Get Smarter and Refer to Fourth Wave Feminism. And he's talking about, uh, you know, when anti-feminists want to refer to the specific type of feminists they're talking about, say fourth wave feminism, don't say third wave feminism, don't say radical feminism, don't say blah, 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 feminism, because uh, the feminist in question that you're talking with will, will make a big deal about it because you didn't use the right term. And another part of the video, he was going on about, uh, you know, rightfully that, hey, you know, the gay community can stand up for itself. It doesn't need feminism to stand up for it. Had a number of, of very good messages. I'll, I'll leave a link to uh, the video in the description bar. There are some things I didn't agree on, but this video is not as, this is not a response video to his video. But I am kind of advertising his video because I thought it, it, it was, I thought it was pretty decent. I am supposed to be making a video uh, I got tagged. It's a, another video of message to anti-feminists, and I will eventually. But uh, right now I want to address... Okay, I've had it pause on this image, right? And he called me a faggot, so I called him an, him an ambulance. The Pink Panthers movement, uh, the pinkpanthersmovement.com. So I decided to go there and was disappointed. And they, of course, list ACT UP in, uh, in things that they give 100% support to. Okay, well, ACT UP, as they may have given, uh, they did raise awareness of AIDS and HIV. They did. I, I have to give them credit there. But everywhere else, they, to me, they did a bunch of damage. To me, ACT UP hurt the... Uh, it hurt the the, uh, the reputation of gay men. I'm sorry, it, it, they, they're they the ones that did the whole, you have to accept me, you know? And I, I can just totally picture them if, 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 you know, they were saying that now, and someone would say, well, uh, no, I don't, you're being unreasonable. Well, I am being reasonable. You know, the same kind of attitude as... Uh, those two uh, Black Lives Matter protesters who interrupted the Bernie Sanders speech in Seattle, yelling, we are being reasonable. You know, it's, it's just kind of that same attitude. And I don't understand, I don't understand how people think this can benefit anything. Like I said, the ACT UP, I've, I've told this story a bunch of times. There was, a, there was an anti-gay uh, uh, initiative that, that was trying to be pushed forth that was far worse than these things that these religious freedom acts that have been passed in other places. Um, this was in the early nineties, a couple friends of mine and I, we went to the planning meeting for it, uh, dressed conservatively. And we went there to ask questions to try to see if the, if we can get the audience to realize, do you know what kind of tripe this, this, uh, supposed religious freedom bill is about do you know what it actually does and we had the, the speaker saying well it doesn't say that anywhere several times and well yeah it does it says it right here well, well that's not what it meant you say, yeah but that's what it'll do act up comes barging into the room brought, open up the doors and they go you should all be ashamed of yourselves shame shame and they walked they, they circled the room every step they they said they said shame by the time they left the room, the speaker was smiling ear from ear to ear because he knew that that all the stuff that we had, uh, my friends and mine and I had done there, was toast. Because they have to go in and be the, do go to the stupid activist mode that doesn't that doesn't help a goddamn thing. I hate that attitude. I hate it so much because all it does is cause damage to whatever uh, whatever movement it represents and that that kind of attitude can happen in any movement it can it really can but it pisses me off so anyway i've went on enough long enough about that again so okay this says uh okay, heterosupremacy will not be tolerated oh so much for tolerance i guess i mean heterosupremacy all right um how can i tell you how can i convince you brothers and sisters that your life is in danger that every day you wake up alive, relatively happy, and a functioning human being, you are committing a rebellious act. You, as an alive and functioning queer, are a revolutionary. There is nothing on this planet that validates, protects, or encourages your existence. It is a miracle you are standing here reading these words. You should, by all rights, be dead. Okay. 
I think that is a somewhat empowering message. That wasn't very bad. Um, this The next one doesn't get bad until a little bit later on. But they say, okay, don't be fooled. Straight people own the world, and the only reason why you have been spared is you're smart, lucky, or a fighter. Straight people have a privilege that allows them to do whatever they please without fear. Now, there is some truth to that. I, I have to admit that that part of it there is some truth to, because... You know, you straight people can be just about anywhere and kiss, for instance, and no one bats an eye. No one does a double take, nothing, right? Unless they have an outrageous look to them. But there are places where if you, you know, if gay people did the same thing, uh, they would have to still worry about getting beat up. I mean, places like in the Bible Belt and stuff, you know, it's, uh, oh, well, don't flaunt it. It's like, Really? You know, so I understand them saying, you know, well, straight people never have to worry about their lives just because they uh, wanted to show affection. So I, 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 I get anger towards it. I get it. Uh, but this, this page here is guided by revenge. And revenge isn't going to work. So here it goes. Uh, but not only do they live... Uh, a life free of fear, they flaunt their freedom in my face. Oh, they flaunt their freedom in my face. All right. Their images are on my TV, in the magazine I bought, in the restaurant I want to eat in, and on the street where I live. I want there to be a moratorium on straight marriage, on babies, on public displays of affection among, among the opposite sex, and media images that promote heterosexuality. Okay, here, here's the next one is the worst statement in their whole thing. It says, until I can enjoy the same freedom of movement and sexuality as straights, their privilege must stop and it must be given over to me and my queer sisters and brothers. The, the, if you want empowerment, you have to be willing to, to take the chance in living your life how you want and lead by example. Okay, and the more people who are just living their lives how they want, as long as they're not hurting anyone, the more chance we will have of getting more acceptance. You do not get acceptance by saying this kind of shit that's on this page. That will not, not get you anywhere. Anywhere. Now, I understand that this page is not really made for the straight people. It's made for the people to to give this feeling of empowerment, but don't give people a feeling of empowerment with a sense of revenge. It's a terrible idea. It's a terrible route. It's awful. And what I think is funny is uh, at some point they go, oh, oh, note, uh, we are in no way heterophobic, no do we contone violence or threats against the straight community. We, we love our straight allies and are seeking to weed out the homophobic ones who are at fault for the attacks on our queer brothers and sisters, our community, and our youth. Well, if you say shit like this, um, man, you're not going to be very well liked. Okay, you don't, you don't combat intolerance with intolerance. I'm sorry, that's just not the way you go about it. Um, you know, this, this, these paragraphs contain some good messages in it. Like, you know, here's stand tall and be proud to be who you are. Good message. But, you know, this fucking, this sentence especially ruins this whole page. And it is the same sort of thing as this. And it is the same sort of attitude that is found in some of the Black Lives Matter protesters, and I find it disgusting. I, I don't understand how people can think that it is somehow beneficial to a movement. How can people... How can people think that has any benefit? How can people think that that's positive? Maybe it make it you know it, just because something makes you feel empowered doesn't make it good. I guess that's all I got to say here. Um, yeah, a, a, a bad attitude can ruin any movement. 